Hello YouTube, welcome to NHORC. This is Charlie here, or NH Operator. That's what the O in NHORC stands for, if you didn't know that. I'm coming at you today with an unboxing and initial impressions of the Lossy Polaris Razor Ray. Uh, this is a, quote, one-tenth scale uh, brushless 3S basher. Slash, uh, I'm not really going to call it a basher, honestly. I think it's a uh, scale basher, which is a category I have just made up to encompass things like this and the UDR, those kind of things. Um, and I just unboxed it, as you saw in the intro. Uh, got everything out. I've taken a look at it. It is a beautifully scale piece of... Uh, RC tech here and uh, so what you get in the box you obviously get the wonderfully sculpted and modeled one-tenth Polaris razor uh, <clears throat> I got the blue livery here uh, you get your standard manual you get a little battery adapter um, that allows you to run 2S. You get a little bag of, uh, these are the screws to put the battery adapter in, and it looks like a couple servo horn uh, converters. You get a Spectrum uh, DX3. Uh, this is my first time with any Spectrum or Lossy. Uh, my first time with any Spectrum electronics, my first time with a lossy, my first time with an aluminum chassis RC. Um, initial impressions of this thing, it is just amazing. A, it's huge. Um, they're calling this one-tenth scale. They are wrong, in my opinion. Uh, this is one-seventh scale. It's built on, right, like kind of a, a slash frame. Um, obviously, it's not Traxxas, but like it's got pretty much kind of the same dimensions as a Traxxas Slash or any of those short course trucks, uh, but it's way taller and it's very realistic looking, right? So, in my opinion, although this is a one tenth size RC, realistically it's a one seventh. Uh, there's a lot of weight up high, right? You've got a lot of molding up high and it's gonna drive bigger than it actually is, I think, in my opinion. Um, I know there's a lot of debate right now on the internet about is this worth the price tag. Um, once we get through my final reviews, I'll, I'll give my thoughts on that. But um, I think people are considering it a one-tenth scale, and they should be thinking of it more like a one-seventh scale. Um, because this thing is not scale to any of the 10th scale crawlers or drift cars I own. Uh, in a little bit, I'll put it next to my TRX4. Um, and I might throw the X-Max up on the bench here to get you a real good size comparison of this thing. So, just kind of getting into some little details here. You got the drivers in there. They're pretty nicely painted. I think the, um, the visor is a little too low on the helmets. It looks a little weird, in my opinion. But, uh... Everything else is just gorgeous. I mean, you've got this just absolutely, completely realistic recreation of a Polaris Razor. Um, if I were going to buy a side-by-side, -side, this would be the one I would be buying. Um, it's just so cool. It's all licensed, right? You've got those BF Goodrich mud terrains, Raceline rims. Uh, obviously, the Razor itself is licensed. Um, and then you've got, you know, trailing arm suspension. This isn't just a remake of a different frame. It's, it may be a modified version of a different frame, but they've put the time and care into, um, making it scale accurate, which I really like to see. Uh, the suspension feels super nice, super plush. Um, just so smooth. Um, the other side pretty similar. You've got some uh, kind of scale details in here behind the uh, rear wheels so you can see this is your uh, clutch on a side-by-side. -side. That's your clutch cover. You've got your little exhaust. The exhaust pipes running over the other side. Um, nicely scale detail. Little bed just like the real ones. 
Yeah, we've got some pretty basic kind of stickers on the dash there, standard fare. Um, so this is mounted with body clips. You've got one here and one up under the front wheel well to remove the body. So you pop those out. And apologies that I'm not doing this on a tripod. This is pretty big um, for my desk. So uh, I have seen some people on YouTube complaining about getting these body pins out of the front. They're a little finicky. I don't think they're too bad though. I think you can probably solve a lot of the problems by A, not doing it one-handed while holding a camera, and B, um, maybe putting some little tags on them. So, all right, we're gonna pull the body off. So, body comes away. You've got a lot of bracing in here to help keep it uh, all in one piece, which is good to see. And then inside, we've got all of the spectrum electronics. So we've got the spectrum receiver, brushless 3S ESC, and a spectrum Firma 3800 KV um, brushless 3S motor with a nice big heat sink on it. And then you've got a nice little aluminum case servo there. Um, you'll notice there's a sway bar right here going through. That's a really nice to see um, and with how this is built it it seems like it's going to keep the mud and the dirt and the debris out very well uh, there's a bit of a some holes up here in the front where the steering mechanisms are going through uh, I'm gonna see if I can close those up with some silicone uh, sheeting to help keep the mud out because this thing is going to be getting dirty in the mud um, I've got a lot of plans for this thing. Uh, I don't want to reveal them just yet, but we're going to be doing a customization video. And uh, I think I'm going to have a couple of firsts on this thing uh, on YouTube, I'm hoping, if I can get the content out fast enough. We'll see. Um, it does have LEDs already uh, installed, which is nice. They're not, um, you know, they're not like brake LEDs. They're red, but they don't light up when you slam on the brakes or anything like that, uh, which would have been a nice touch, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm really liking the look of this thing. These tires are super firm. <laughs> like, they do not move. Uh, if we take a look at the bottom here, ugh, you can see you've got this nice aluminum chassis and there you can see the trailing arm suspension set up just like a real razor um, you know for these kind of high speed off-road vehicles the trailing arm suspension is very nice and you can see you've got the radius rods out here to keep everything in line as it moves and you can see it does actively tow out as you lean to help bite in harder and get that additional traction. So that's super cool. I love these massive long travel shocks back here. They look so good. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about this thing. Um, I will say that's about the crunchiest sounding idle roll I think I've ever heard. Um, but I'm super excited. I'm going to throw this up on the desk with a uh, my TRX4 Sport and probably my X Max, so you can get a good size comparison of it. I'll be right back. So as you can see here, I've got the Lossy Polaris Razor Ray up here next to my TRX4 Sport with a stock Sport body. These are actually the stock tires, even um, they've got the chains on them, obviously. But these are my original Canyon Trails. Um, so this is pretty much you know stock layout for your TRX4 Sport. So Standard 10th scale, huge razor. <laughs> so the the razor is bigger in basically every conceivable way. Um, it's wider, it's longer. Like you can see your wheelbase there is just substantially wider than a 10th scale. So 
as much as I'd love to throw this thing on my 3D printed trailer and tow it behind that, it would actually go the other way around. It would look better to tow this with that, which is silly. Um, if we put them side by side here, uh, if I even have enough room on my desk to do this. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna come way back. You can really see the um, the size disparity. So like, although it's built on a one-tenth chassis, I'm calling that thing one, one seventh, one eighth scale. Cause like, razors are not that big. They are small. <laughs> like, they, they, they easily fit on a trailer behind an F-150 or a Tacoma. And that thing is just gargantuan, right? I mean, like, side-by-sides are small. Like, look at this side-by-side, -side, right? Obviously, it's not a Razor, but, like, way smaller than a car. And then this, this monster is just... It, it's just too big for, to be called one-tenth scale, in my opinion. So, sure, it may be built on a one-tenth scale chassis, but when you, in my opinion, when you make something this scale... Right, you you put the scale suspension into it, you put all of this up top weight, like it's gonna drive like a real one. And I just I I'm very confident that this thing is gonna feel like one seventh to me like my X Max, just because of the size. Cause it's not one tenth. Alright, we'll get the X Max up here just for fun. All right, so <laughs> I can't really fit these on my desk any other way. Um, so bottoms, my Traxxas X Max it's got a Proline Basher body on it. The Traxxas paddles right now, uh, and then we've got the Razor Ray sitting right on top of it. So that <laughs> looks far more appropriate, right? If I had a trailer for my X Max, I could strap that onto it, and it'd look dead on. Um, other than the fact that it's being pulled by a monster truck, right? But, like, the scale is right, and the X-Max, you know, is... I think Traxxas says it's fifth scale. It's probably more like sixth scale. But... Just... The Razor Ray is not a tenth scale. Like, I, I don't care what anybody says. Just because it's built on, like, a tenth scale short course truck-ish frame, like... You take something that's supposed to be smaller than every other thing in 10th scale, and you make it that big. It 7th scale. I think uh, Hailstorm RC, or he did the math, um, and he he did confirm based on the wheelbase, the length of the wheelbase, that it is 7th scale for a Razor. So, you want to debate me in the comments that you think it's a 10th scale? I'd love to hear your opinions. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, fight me. <laughs> fight me on that not being 7th scale when you put it next to an X-Max or next to a TRX-4. Like, it's just, it's huge. So, uh, I hope you like this. Um, if you have, please give me a subscribe. That's the biggest thing for me. Uh, you know, if you got questions or comments, throw them in the comments below. I'll answer everybody on the small channel. Um, so in the coming days, you're going to see a flurry of content related to the Razor Ray. Um, I'm going to be doing a customization video with some cool scale accessories coming in for it. Uh, I'm going to be obviously doing a first run and review video. Um, I've got a couple of other plans that I don't know if I want to reveal yet. I may not do all of them but um at least three or four videos on this guy plus you know I'll, I'll always be doing the scale uh running videos that i love to do so i hope everybody's enjoyed this uh again please give me a subscribe if you like what i'm doing here and uh i'll see you in the next video